I got your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Some really sad news for Nene Leakes. She revealed that her husband, Greg Leakes, is transitioning to the other side. Uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star posted on Instagram yesterday the words broken with uh, the prayer hands. And uh, unfortunately, Greg's condition has worsened since he was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer back in 2018. He did go into remission for two years, but his cancer reportedly returned just a few months ago. Nene has asked asked fans to have some compassion for her and her sons. They're going through a very difficult time right now. Um, some, several celebrities and, of course, her Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members have showed support under the post. Dennis Rodman's Wild Bender in Las Vegas, I'm taking you way back now, is going to become a feature film. Dennis Rodman is going to be one of the executive producers for the upcoming movie 48 Hours in Vegas, which is based on his infamous trip to Las Vegas during the 1997-98 season when the Bulls won the championship. Now, I'm taking you back. You remember all of this, right? He made so many off-court headlines back then, including his trip to Sin City. And uh, even though the recent The Last Dance documentary that chronicle, chronicle that chronicled the uh, Chicago Bulls dynasty of the 1990s, mostly focused on Michael Jordan. It was the Dennis Rodman segments that were among the most memorable. So 48 Hours in Vegas will follow the worm as he takes his skittish assistant general manager to Sin City. And it details uh, their budding friendship that neither of them ever thought was possible, but they end up solving both of their problems. Honestly, it sounds like get him to the Greek. Remember that? Um, maybe they use Rodman Sin City trip as an inspiration for that storyline. However, um, Lionsgate Motion Picture Group president said, There is only one Dennis Rodman, and in 1998, there was nobody on earth who would be more fun or maybe more dangerous to party with. And yet, that's not even half of who he is. This movie takes you on an unforgettable ride with the myth, the legend, and also the man that Dennis is behind everything you think you know. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be a great, great film. Um, speaking of films, get ready for Expendables 4. Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham and Dolph Lundgren are returning with some new cast members that include Megan Fox and Fiddy. That's right, 50 Cent. He shared his excitement on social media making the announcement. This isn't the first time that 50 and Stallone have worked together. Do you remember The Escape Plan? He starred alongside Stallone in that, as well as the most recent third installment, Escape Plan 3, The Extractors, back in 2019. And uh, Disney's Jungle Cruise now has made over $100 million at the box office. And the studio is now said that they're going to be moving forward with a sequel to the film. That quickly, right? With Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt on board to return. It's based on the theme park ride at Disneyland and Disney World. And it had what would have t been typically considered a slow opening at the box office, making only $35 million. Um, and, of course, even with the challenges created by uh, the new waves of the coronavirus pandemic, the movie remained a top box office draw. And, of course, now after picking up some speed over the last couple of weeks and audiences giving it an A... The studio sees potential for the sequel. I think fans just can't get enough of The Rock. I mean, he's one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. He made $22 million for his role in Jungle Cruise. And his upcoming action film, Red Notice, with Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot, which I cannot wait for this to come out. He's getting uh, $23.5 milli for that. But you know, he works hard for these roles. So uh, I think he's worth every single penny. And speaking of worth, The Rock's net worth this year is just over $400 million million dollars and growing and that's your juicy entertainment news for tuesday locking in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new kiss 96